What up, what up, what up, good people? It's your boy BTG, aka Bust Them Guns, coming at you again with another tabletop review. We're keeping it real light this time around. We got a little 22 LR on the lineup. As you can see in the case here, little tandem cross accessories. So you know that's something light. A little black and gold passion here. This here is the Ruger Mark IV 2245 light chambered in 22 LR. So this is a pretty decent setup here. Let's go ahead and clear the weapon. Magazine is empty. Chamber is empty. Cool. Magazine back in for aesthetics. So let me give you a good look at this. This here is a pretty nice piece. We got quite a bit of tandem cross hardware on here. Uh, tandem cross does a lot of accessories for these 22 LRs whether it be uh, TARS, Browning, whatever it is that you're shooting, uh, they've got some nice accessories that they make for it. So this one here, it's got a few of the accessories. We've got the uh, Pro Comp on front there. So that's a pretty nice look. I did change the front sight out to that tandem cross fiber optic front. Uh, you do get a pick rail on this here from the factory. So you got a pick rail. I've got just a regular low budget green dot mounted on there and I added a little riser to it because I wanted to still be able to co-witness with the irons because I like shooting the iron sights as well. So you can still peek through there and co-witness with the iron sights. This is the tandem cross halo right here. So this is the ring. Just makes it easier to rack. So that's a nice enhancement. I did change these grips out to the pearl black and gold grips. So that's a nice look for the color accent. And that gold trigger, that actually came on here. So it comes with the gold trigger. This particular model with the gold slide, you do get the gold trigger. Uh, initially, they didn't make, because they do make victory triggers that are uh, skeletalized triggers, flat face, and they look really nice. But they were only making them in the red color. Red and black, I believe, initially. But now they are making them in gold. So I will be changing the trigger out to that victory flat face trigger. And that's a real nice look. I've got that on my uh, Taurus TX-22 in red, and it looks nice. And it's a much comfortable shoot as well. Nice wide trigger face, so it's pretty cool. But this, if you take a look here, you can see right through the bottom of that riser, you can see the fiber octave up front, and you can co-witness right through there and still shoot the irons. You can see the rear sight is blacked out. Rear sight is adjustable windage and elevation. So you can set that up to your liking. You've got the uh, the bolt in there is blacked out. The barrel is blacked out. So the contrast is nice. And these things are simple, but they're reliable, they're accurate, and they are a blast to shoot. So if you want to go out plinking, this is it right here. I mean, there's a few of them. They've got the Brownings. They've got other ones out there. I like the Ruger. I like the Taurus. Those are the two that I like. And they've got other versions. This is the Mark IV. Obviously, they got Mark III's. They've got other styles uh, going on back. So you can pick the ones you want. All of them, I think, are pretty much still on the market. But the Mark IV is the most recent version. And they've got all kinds of colors. They've got ice gray. They've got uh, flat black. So they've got, they've got purple. They've got all kinds of colors to choose from. But I like this gold and I like that contrast. And these are 10 round magazines is what comes in them. So you find yourself doing a lot of reloading. Uh, this tandem cross bag is a nice accessory. So it'll hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mags. So you got seven additional mags that you can load up plus the one that's in there. So you got this, you got pockets on the other side for accessories, additional ammo, whatever you need there. So this is a nice, uh, nice range option here. And that's pretty much what I store it in as well. So uh, one other thing, because you are dealing with 10 round mags, another accessory, uh, if you're not familiar with these, this is uh, made by, who is it? McFadden Machine is the company that makes these. But this is like a speed loader. Uh, it looks fairly simple, looks a little wild, but you can put as many as, many as 50 rounds, they tell you to put in there at once. This just slides open up top. So you put them in there and then you shake them down. See them drop down. So once you drop them down in there, 
Then you're able to slide your magazine in here. And you just, just like that, bam, magazine's loaded. So if you got one of these, this is like a must. It just makes the reload so much quicker and so much easier and you're ready to go. But this here, once again, Plinkin toy, you can't beat it. Uh, there's one other one out there that I know I want to get. It's the uh, basically the Mark IV on steroids. And that's that, uh, I think it's called Volkortsen. And that's the one you see uh, 22 Plinks is shooting. He may have been part of the design, I don't know. But that one's longer. It's blacked out, Black Mamba style. And that bad boy is nice. So that's uh, one that I want to eventually add to the collection. But for now, this one is getting the job done. Low cost ammo, you get out there with that 22, you can shoot all day. And it's a blast. Long distance, close, it doesn't matter. This thing is accurate. Once you get used to it, you get sighted in, it's on. So this is my Ruger 2245 light. This is the Mark IV. Got a nice optic on there. I don't remember the name, MT. I don't even remember what that is. But it's a nice green dot optic. So you can shoot it either way. But this is loads of fun. So it's your boy BTG. Lightening it up a little bit. A little 22 LR out of the collection. Holla.